Guys, the race to Metaspace just heated up and Microsoft just announced new strides. Let's talk about it. If you've worked remotely during the pandemic, chances are you've used Microsoft Teams. You know, the video conferencing tool that makes your laptop feel like it's a jet engine that's about to take off. Well, now it's taking off into orbit. Microsoft is bringing Mesh to Teams. At first glance, this does seem a bit uh, dystopian. But overall, this is going to be a win for the metaverse. Huge loss for vitamin D production, unfortunately. And speaking of vitamin D, why don't you leave me a little vitamin S by clicking that subscribe button and leaving a like if you enjoy my content. Microsoft's strides in the metaverse space are very different from the way Facebook, I'm sorry, Meta is going about it. But I'll get to that in a minute. At first, let me reimagine teams with you for a bit. Ta-da! This is my avatar. Uncanny? Uncanny? Get used to it. Look, the reality is Microsoft might see adoption of the metaverse quicker than Facebook will. Cannot stress enough how often participants in a video call like to have their cameras off during a meeting. Lack of facial cues on somebody who has their video off during a meeting can feel a little impersonal. If Teams can offer a way for you to present your facial expressions without having to do your hair, trim your beard, or put on a shirt, that is as low effort as it gets. Between choosing no video and a virtual avatar, folks are going to be choosing a virtual avatar. And that will be the gateway choice that loops them into the rest of Microsoft's metaverse. But Microsoft plans to include more dimensions in these meetings than just facial cues and voice. Gestures are coming to a collaborative space near you. You can holoport into a collaborative space, move to different locations in a room using hand gestures, and conjure up objects from thin air as presentational tools. Imagine examining the 3D design for a car's chassis in a collaborative virtual space while pulling out the 3D model of a carburetor from your pocket to show to your colleague. If you understood what a carburetor is, it's time to upgrade your car. But the point is Microsoft can get you comfortable with virtual happy hours, virtual onboarding sessions, virtual town halls, and essentially virtual collaborative spaces. And the reason Microsoft is going to beat Facebook to these collaborative spaces is simple. Teams is for work. Facebook is for play. You're not going to opt to use virtual avatars because you're too exhausted at the end of the day to present your beaten down face to the friend that you're trying to video conference. You're going to want to use a virtual avatar because the team's meeting at work has been going on for upwards of an hour and you'd rather present a virtual avatar than a blank screen. You're not going to enter a virtual space because you'd rather be sitting with virtual avatars of your friends that you're playing poker with. You're going to want to enter one so that you can pull up a whiteboard and draw an architecture diagram for folks at work. But anytime users get more comfortable with the metaverse, all players in the metaverse space win. When folks get used to the 9 to 5 work metaverse, they're going to eventually flock to the after work hours social metaverse. I will say this though, Facebook's play for the metaverse has one ace in the hole, and that is a marketplace for NFTs. In Facebook's metaverse, you'll get to decorate yourself and the social spaces you visit, be it your living space or a friend's living space, with NFT-backed digital goods. And this will underpin an acceleration for an already booming digital content creation economy. Would you work in the metaverse? What are you most excited about? Or is this too dystopian? Let me know in the comments section. Until then, stay real. I will see you next time. Peace.